doctrinal classes it is the first day of my first final exam and I am heading to school right now um, it is currently 808 and my exam starts at 9 o'clock um, I should be at school within the next like five minutes or so um, like yeah last night right before bed like thoughts just started going through my head I started doing some questions like super late and then yeah you know those feelings kind of you know what I mean yeah but um I mean I just went to bed I, well I tried to go to bed after but to be honest it is what it is I've done what I can do and I've asked that on that um as far as exam taking goes so um you use you can use exam soft if you're having a multiple choice and an essay exam um which is a program that you have to download from your school and stuff like that and it basically shuts down all the other functions in your computer except for exam soft when you're testing so you can't open any other documents or anything like that um or if it's just like multiple choice um all multiple choice then you'll just use a scantron grading in law school is done blind so you don't put your name on your packets you're given a blind grading number um at my school it changes and i'm pretty sure maybe anyways i'll just speak for my school it changes per semester so for midterms i had a different blind number and for finals i have a different blind number and that is the number that you will put on your booklets and stuff like that for when stuff is being graded um because obviously in law school things are blind graded um yeah so you get that and it's kind of like the LSAT all over again you cannot bring you're prohibited from bringing all these items into the classroom you have to bring a ziploc bag you're only permitted to bring like your keys water a pencil a pen highlighter those are like the only things that you can bring you have to leave your phone, laptop, and all the other stuff in the car. You can't bring it with you. Um, so it's kind of like the LSAT. So you're, you're, you don't even know it, but you're a little bit prepared already for, you know, the situation. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much the housekeeping things or whatever for um, finals taking. And yeah, I am going to go there now. I feel like I'm not really, I can't say, a little bit of nerves is coming on, just a little bit. Not too much, but you know that little feeling, that little like, you know, yeah. And it's cold, y'all, so you see me in my last video or last clip, depending on how I edit this, um, in this, you know, trench situation, it's cold, okay? And I'm extra when it gets cold in Florida, so I do the most, and have these things so i'll be wearing them so don't judge me but yeah wish me luck guys and i'll talk to you if i remember after i get out of this exam and then it is a torts mode uh because my torts exam is going to be on friday so talk to y'all later don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i just came back to quickly say to y'all don't judge me when i'm looking busted i'm trying to could you go You sitting there waiting on him to cross the street. Like we don't have a light that's gonna expire. Oh my gosh. Sorry y'all. But I was saying, I came back to say, don't judge me. Um, I'm trying my best to look half decent, but I'm tired. I'm like, I'm chewed out and I'm trying to hold it together to look 
somewhat decent. So don't judge a girl. All right. I just have to say that. So I'm about to head out the car now and go to my exam. It's 8:19, and we need to report to the uh, testing room, which I don't even know what that is at 8:45. So I'm gonna leave now, and I'll see you guys after my exam. Guys, so I have finished my first final exam. Yay! And uh, I am confident about it. Let's see how the balls play but I reviewed it like three times before I submitted it and I still left the exam room about an hour early. I completed my first run through of the questions pretty fast to be honest. Um, we had until 12 something. Um, I'm on my way home now and it's like 1140 something but um, I finished like 10 something we started no, i don't even remember we were supposed to start at nine o'clock but the proctor came late and yada 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 and all this other stuff so we started a little bit late um maybe like 9 20 or or maybe not 9 20 maybe like 9 15 or something i don't know um and i finished like 10 something um we had three hours to take the exam and then i went over it again i saw some mistakes that i made the second time around changed a couple answers and stuff but i feel like um there were better decisions than the first ones that i made um but yeah generally speaking i feel like i adequately prepared my um preparation as far as memorizing the rules the way i did and stuff like that really helped um, the questions that I used for Q&A were not helpful to how my professor um, tests. I mean, they were a lot more convoluted and I don't know. It just was not the same style that my professor used. And I'm grateful because I was able to confidently answer a lot of the questions. And the ones that I wasn't like too sure about, I still had a really good guess, 50-50. So I'm happy with that. So we'll just see how the grades come out. But so far, so good. I'm heading home to go get something to eat and then it's torts prop um practice uh because I have my torts test on Friday so I'm trying to have you know I'm trying to keep this momentum going and hopefully you know by the grace of God my preparation will meet the opportunity for me to do great but I feel good so far after my stiff pro finals so I'll let you guys know in January how everything turns out once our first semester grades are out. Hey guys, so it is the day of uh, my SIF Pro exam and I have torts on Friday, it's Wednesday, and I am starting on my um, torts studying. This is just, I was just blurting this out. I'm gonna first contact, um, tackle intentional torts and then their defenses um yeah i have a lot of work to do but this is where i'm starting off so i'll show you guys how far i get after so this is what i've gotten so far with um battery and assault so what i basically do is i try to from memory write out what i remember about each and then i'll go and double check to see if i missed anything um after i write it out on the board then I would um, try to just spit out the information again verbally like you guys saw me doing with um, Civ Pro. And yeah, I try to get these definitions and stuff like that, concrete, selected in my head. Um, and yeah, so these are the first two intentional torts, battery and assault. And I'm going to move on to false imprisonment next. It's now one o'clock. That's a little bit of what I've been going over. I'm finished with intentional torts. Um, I covered um, intentional torts to person and then to property. So now I'm gonna be, and I just did um, maybe like 30 questions or so. So I'm gonna go into um, the defenses to intentional torts. And that's gonna be that for tonight and then tomorrow. I will be going over negligence and doing some practice essays. Okay, so let me show you guys. So this is my torts outline. 
um, and I just did all of intentional torts with the cases and a little bit about what each case is about um, the rules and then like things that I, my professor said like key things that um, I'll need in like essay writing and stuff like that um, but yeah yada 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 so I went through all of this already IED and I am here now so I'm going to be going over um, the defenses um, and this is the book that I use uh, Q&A and so far so good I think I only got like two questions wrong out of like a good amount so it breaks them down into to um like sections so this one was invasion of land harm to property false imprisonment and then this one was basically battery and assault that first section and then all the answers are in the back um Yeah, all the answers are in the back with explanations as to why each one is right and each one is wrong. And so far, so good. So that's the plan. It is currently 1.04 a.m. Just finishing defenses for intentional torts. It is now 4.26 and I am going to bed. I'm gonna have a four hour nap, I guess, again or so be up in the morning and get back to it thank you guys for watching